Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So in the last episode we made that not so daring raid on the gun store. It really wasn't much of a... It, it wasn't very exciting. Just killed a few zombies, collected a few weapons, and those are going to be very useful for us. In fact, even off camera, as you can see I'm currently wielding the BB gun, and if I go to my inventory, we had 200 BB shots originally. We have 100 left over here and 20 in our guns, so I fired 80 times. I was just off, um, it, it was the end of day 11 when I left you, so I spent a day, I rested for the first time in like 6 days, and surprisingly we only rested for about 8 hours and that was sufficient, which I, I thought we maybe we might just sleep for like a full day, <laughs> but it didn't happen. Uh, on top of that, I went hunting, yes, so I, I spent the day kind of getting my tailoring skills up first and foremost. Now we can see that I'm actually able to get my leather backpack reinforced. I was able to get the, uh, okay, I guess it's right below me. The dress shirt, uh, I was able to reinforce this. I'm able to get some things to be fit, uh, fitted now. And I think the reason I'm not able to get everything to work how I want is that I'm just lacking some of the material because I can't get, for example, I mean, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm just mistaken about this, but if I try to grab my tailor kit and I activate my tailor kit, repair something. So let's say that I wanted to like reinforce these army pants. It won't let me currently. It doesn't, there's no chance of success. And not only that, but this, it says practicing, but this doesn't actually practice because if I was to choose this option, which I won't, um, my tailoring skill does not leave 5.0. So I don't know what's missing there that to allow me to get my army pants refitted, I mean um, reinforced. Maybe we're missing the correct, maybe the army pants have a different material that I need to reinforce them, um, in which case we can't reinforce it, but we can still practice and rip it and then repair it. I, I really don't know. So um, anyway, uh, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments when I figure out or <laughs> that will allow me not to have to figure it out for myself, right? But the other thing I was talking about is the BB gun. And I also wanted to show you that in the log, you know, we have the iBot here. And I guess, okay, this is all from today. So let me I do shift P. All right, here we go. So this is the huge log. If I scroll way down, we're gonna see, I actually killed a squirrel when I woke up. <laughs> which was just because when you first wake up, your focus is really high and it's the best time to do something to earn skill points. And I wanted to earn skill points in rifle, which the BB gun gives me, also in marksmanship, although it said this thing was not gonna train up. See, you'll need to aim at more distant targets to further improve your marksmanship. So um, it's possible that I need to hit uh, different targets. But if we go, let's see, if, eight hours ago, here we go. So um, I rested, whatever. But before that, it was thunder and lightning, and I was out with my flashlight shooting my BB gun to train up my marksmanship and also my rifle skill. Um, just because marksmanship in particular is really important, it allows you to aim anything a little bit better. But the best skill in any particular category is the one that's most specialized to the gun you're using. So if you have a zero in marksmanship and a five in rifle, you're much more likely to hit than if you have, I mean, assuming you're using a rifle, than if you have zero in rifle and five in marksmanship. The rifle is much more important. The good thing about marksmanship is that it adds a bonus to every general shooting skill. So you can kind of think about it as your intuition with aiming as marksmanship and your ability to like reload and do all these special things with this particular gun as the rifle or the submachine gun or the shotgun category. Now, uh, I was, shooting actually the iBot itself for a while. This is after I killed a bat, <clears throat> and then I decided to go over and I was starting to shoot the iBot, and then I started to shoot the zombies, because I wasn't doing any damage to the iBot. Unfortunately, this triggered the response of the security bots. So this episode is going to be about us going and hunting the security bots. They're extremely dangerous. I mean, they don't kill you, but they incapacitate you. They have um, like some kind of gas, I forget what it's called, but it makes you completely passive. You can't do anything. And then they go over and they'll handcuff you. Now this is okay. You can wait. It's like 10, uh, 600. I guess that's like a, an hour. 
I guess it's about an hour's worth of time you have to wait and do absolutely nothing and then the charge on the security handcuffs runs out however it's much better not to be handcuffed so we're going to go and try to destroy these security bots which is a quite an undertaking so i'm actually quite happy that in the off camera just shooting my bb gun i got markmanship up from 0 to 2.28 and i got rifles up from 1 to 1.08 so i guess markmanship goes up higher faster than rifles which i don't understand I don't exactly understand, but I'm pretty sure my marksmanship was at zero, whereas my rifles was at one because we read that one book. We don't have a book on marksmanship itself. Hmm. So let me take a drink and then let's examine our options for this. <laughs> so we're not going to be using a BB gun because the BB gun doesn't penetrate the armor. So I can probably drop this. I'm going to drop it in the center area actually because I do want to use this later to continue to improve my uh, rifle skill. Now let's see what kind of things we have available to us. I already know what we're going to use but we can kind of see all the different weapons we have acquired. We Do we have any 223 ammo? Oh we do, we have reloaded 223, okay. So do we have a some kind of clip for the AR-15? I mean magazine. I don't think so, believe it or not. I'm um, just looking very quickly. Honestly, when I'm off camera, the easiest way for me to do it is just to pick up everything. Well, it, <laughs> well, to pick up the AR-15, and then it'll it'll highlight things in different colors when you do that. But just looking here, it doesn't look like we have. That's surprising. The M14 goes to the one M1A, and I, I might be missing it. I'm not really, I wasn't really paying close attention, but it doesn't look like we have any weapons for the AR-15, which would have been the best choice for us because once again, that's rifles, and I just leveled up rifles. However, I was thinking of taking the Remington, which is a fantastic thing. It's uh, the shotgun used by law enforcement. It's very reliable. I'm, I'm never like. Shotguns, I think, are the most powerful weapons in the game because a lot of wep a lot of combat does take close close quarters. You usually don't have to snipe things at range, um, and if you do, if you're hunting, a lot of the times it's better just to use um, a longbow so you can have a re a reusable ammo supply because it's really easy to make your own arrows. This time, however, we're going to go after some bad bad people in the form of these security bots, and from my understanding. One iBot spawns of, I don't know how many, it seems like it's a variable number, but it's around three security bots per iBot uh, is what I've experienced, is about the right number. Now the really stupid thing is if I had shot the iBot from a distance before it had time to react, if I had killed it instantly, it wouldn't have had time to call these security bots. So this is like the most unfortunate situation. So, um, and how, I, how do I know that the security bots are out there? Well, I'm not sure it's going to show it. In fact, I'm pretty sure it won't. But they actually shot their... They have a, an electric taser that they shoot at you. Which means we're going to have to try to get close and fire immediately. This is not a good situation. <laughs> so let's go ahead and wield our Remington. And begin reloading with... I want to use... Oh, what did I, did I grab the 223? That's so silly. Of course, that's AR-15 ammo. That's Stan Ag type stuff. I, this is a good question. So what do we want to reload with? Birdshot, no. I think we'll go with the reloaded shotgun slug. I don't like to use the double, the, the pure shot unless, um, yeah, this has pierce on it as well. So it's probably the best because we need to pierce the armor. So let's just do this, and we'll reload, and we'll grab the rest of that stuff as well. Loaded, reloaded, shotgun sight, there it is, great. <laughs> okay, so now we are equipped, and I have my machete as a backup. We have low encumbrance, we're a little bit warm, but that's okay, we'll manage for a little bit. So let's, uh, let's just take a chug of uh, sip of water, eat our meat sandwich. We have all this meat because I killed 
um, a squirrel this morning, and I, which that's the fresh one, and I killed a bat last night. So we can make ourselves some more, we can cook up some more meat. Let's handle that when we get back though. I'm just gonna drop the meat right in the middle here, so we do remember it for later. But I don't need to carry it with me, and on top of that, I don't need to carry the tailor's kit anymore. Um, I may need my inventory space for taking some of the stuff we get off the robots back with us. Okay, so let's move out. We are still hungry, huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll be okay, I think. All right, so first of all, we can see zombies and iBots. I don't have any interest in killing these guys yet. Um, I kind of like the zombies that... You can see this one's lightly injured. I was shooting that with a BB gun. And I really like these as targets for my BB gun. So I'm going to try to avoid these guys altogether. Oh, we need sunglasses. Do I have sunglasses? Okay, let's do this. Filter, sun. Yes, we do. Where is it? Right there. Okay, good. So let's go down here. Pair of... Da, 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 da. Neoprene. Finger of his gloves. Fit over sunglasses. There they are. Okay, good. So let's wear those. We'll put them... We'll layer them below the rain stuff. So probably right here. Sounds good. Now that's going to prevent us from having our perception dimmed because of the sunlight. And that's very appropriate when you're trying to shoot a gun. So we can walk for the time, for the, a little bit. But as soon as we see those bots, it's going to mean business. They are, uh, I had one um, playthrough where they actually did, I was just kind of experimenting, so I actually let them get a hold of me, but it was not fun. Okay, so here we see hazy clouds. This is probably the gas that they were shooting. They have a taser and then they have the gas. So this is a uh, risky business we're getting ourselves into. Like, honestly, very scary. So the blood splatter is where I was shooting my BB at the r zombies, even though we only do like pretty much next to no damage. Where are they? I'm very scared. So they're definitely in this area. They are probably patrolling here. What's this? Okay. Scary. Scary. So this is must be the whole gas cloud. Sedative gas. There it is. We can see that this is all sedative glass, uh, gas. Relaxation, sedative. It's all mixed together. None of it good. Okay, there we go. Right control robot. I guess there are two iBots. Because this guy is pacifying a zombie. Now, the range of our shotgun. 12, but we're probably not going to be able to hit from that range. So, yeah, okay, so we need to turn off safety mode, but this is extremely dangerous. Like, this could be the end of us. So we'll just drop down here. Move over to the wall. And what I can do here is... If you use capital X, shift X, you can peek. I can peek up. This allows me to see everything, but uh, this is a free mo uh, movement. You're just kind of peeking around the corner. I see that this is actually not bad. There's only one riot control bot here. This is so strange. Didn't we just see a bunch of bots and all that down there? The zombies should also be pacified. I think they get pacified by this gas just as easily. Okay, so that you can see we're done peeking. If I actually move up, it's time for us to start running. Yeah, we're just one away. This is dangerous. I'm hoping that he's distracted by the zombies. From the east, you hear, empty your hands and hold your position, citizen. Okay, well, here we go. We're gonna have to wait Hopefully he doesn't hit us. We probably have one more turn. Ugh, I'm so scared. We need to kill him though, so it's important that we hit him on the first try. He could be talking to the zombies, but I, I doubt it. Okay, so... Every time that changes, I get really scared. Alright, let's get one more percentage of confidence. There. Okay, cross your fingers and we're gonna fire. Boom! We hit the riot control bot for 27, that's not bad. But these things are 
you know, a little bit of, they're little, literally tanks. <laughs> so it's not gonna kill him immediately. Why? Ah, uh, because of the recoil, we're gonna have to wait for a little bit. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, he's shocking the zombies, so he is completely occupied. And the zombies are actually hitting him. Okay, so that's good. Let's be a little bit less cautious about this. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, good. We hit him for another 23. Now we gotta wait again. He's heavily injured. One thing I don't like about this uh, system, as far as I can tell, there's no penalty to people, even yourself for attacking when you're injured. Like when you heavily injure something, I don't feel like it benefits you. Brutes still kill you, zombies still hit you. So it'd be nice if that might be implemented. I'm not sure, but okay. Another 13 damage and hopefully one last shot is all we'll need. Okay, we'll need another. Our ears are ringing. He's almost dead though. But good thing he's very concerned with those. And there it is. Okay. So what did that do for us? Our shotguns went only from 1.0 to 1.13. It's really not that much. I do like to collect these shells. I've never actually made my own ammo. But in principle, I like to keep them in case I ever do. Now, I think what's going to happen is if I just run a little bit this way, I think those guys are going to go after that a lot. And it truly does appear that they are. So that means we're just gonna, I'm gonna reload the Remington that we have here. Oh my god, we actually have this corpse, I forgot about it. But I don't think there's anything we can really get off it. We need a screwdriver to actually, um, uh, what's it? B is for butcher. We can butcher the security robot as well, but we need um, appropriate equipment to do that, which in this case is uh, a screwdriver. So what we're gonna do is kind of run away. Uh, we can actually run a little bit. Go back home. I want to move over here. Now, was were we seeing a different iBot, or were they just? So I guess that is only one iBot and only those zombies, which means that we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna grab our BB gun and we're gonna train up our rifle score a little bit more. Oh, it's actually right here. Okay, let's cook our meat first. Grab these things. Um, yeah, because we need to make a new sandwich anyway. Which I guess we'll make the sandwich first. So we can eat it. Oh, we can actually do some fun stuff. I could make a hamburger. That sounds delicious. And it, it looks like it is good food as well. 30 and four. Oh, oh, meat pies. Oh, in fact, if we get a stomach, we can make, there's this really good thing. It's from the Scottish recipe book. See if I can find it. No, it's called. It might not be in the meat menu. It might be over in snacks. No, bread. No, pasta. No. Other. No, maybe I don't know it. Do I have that book? I I might be crazy. Do we have the book? Yeah, Ye Scott's Book of Cookery. <laughs> Let me see this Ye Scott's Book of Cookery. Should be over here. There it is at the top. Okay, let's see what this help us make. Why is Ye Scott's Book of Cookery these things? I thought it was, okay, Haggis, that's what it's called. Haggis is really good for you. And cloudy dumpling. So those are the things we'd, we would want to look for. Let me look for cloudy first. So let's see. We need dehydrated fruit and fat or tallow. Okay, that's what that one was. But um, the good thing is this is really good. Like 28 and 9. 9 enjoyability. Extremely enjoyable. And it keeps indefinitely. It does not, it's not a, a perishable food, which is fantastic. We can also look for, what was the other one? 
uh, Cladis or something like that. Um, can't remember. Let's see if I can find it. I have a tendency of just scrolling without my eyes actually looking at what I'm scrolling through. So let me pay just attention to where the blue um, text hi is highlighted. It was like Cloudus or something. Haggis, there it is. I found it. So this is also uh, one season to per uh, is perishable only after a season. So the first one requires fat. Actually, this one requires fat as well. But this one requires a stomach and an offal, uh, which yeah, you usually get these whenever you kill a creature from hunting. Another great item. You can usually make a lot of these. Obviously, the um, cloudy is better because it's uh, much more enjoyable. But this makes a lot of food, quite a lot. The funny thing is you actually have to sew it. This is a some kind of treat where you pack the stomach full of stuff and you eat it, the stomach and everything, which is bizarre, but I have never had it in real life. It sounds very interesting. Uh, okay, so enough talk about all that. We can actually see what we want to do with our meat. Uh, I like to pick things which are gonna t so meat jerky is a like a no-brainer probably I should just start making meat jerky which we will just keep around just in case we start running out of food meat jerky obviously it keeps indefinitely so and water is not usually a big deal we can go to the river fill up whatever bottles we want with water and then go over here and cook it and fresh water forever so let's make some meat jerky First, let me just light the fire. So we're gonna drop a single piece of paper, which is strange, one of the 44. And this is actually gonna allow us to activate our lighter. And uh, this single little thing is gonna allow us to cook all the meat that we have. Um, and beef jerky does take quite a long time, so this will take us over two hours to do. But it is worth it, so what should we use? Let's use the salt, no, let's use the black pepper. Actually, you can get salt by boiling swamp water. So let's use the salt. And here we go, time is ticking, time is ticking. And there it goes, we have cracked a beef jerky. I'm gonna drop that, because we don't actually want it right now. Um, we do need some food though. So let's make that meat sandwich. Uh huh. We have plenty of bologna. And let's eat that meat sandwich. Good, now we're full. We can, don't even need to drink the water, we're good. So we have our BB gun back. Let's, uh, I'm gonna keep my Remington with me, just in case. But let's go ahead and use our Remington, our, our BB gun to go gain some more skill in the rifle. And this time I'm gonna be more careful only to hit the zombies, not the iBot itself. And we do want to make sure that we're not... Yeah, they look like they're going after that. That's good. We want to stay far enough away. That we don't antagonize that iBot. In fact, we really want to stay on the zombie side of the iBot. So the iBot is more preoccupied with them than us. This is a good distance away. So we just wait quite a bit. And... Fire. Okay, good, so one damage. Now we fire, the BB gun obviously has no recoil, so we just fire again, missed, fire again. All I'm doing is 2.10, 2.52. Let's just see how this is working. We hit it. Hit him again. So now it's 2.59, 2.13. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just training our uh, skill up over and over and over again. Really, we want this to be maximum steadiness since there's no recoil, no reason not to. He's about to move away, which is unfortunate. Oh, he moved closer. Okay, now he's further away. Oh, okay, now we need to reload. Okay, so that was good. Uh, I'm gonna stop. So I don't know how the walk-run mechanic works. I think it's still changing in experimental builds, but let's go ahead and reload some more. Okay, we don't want them to come close to us though. Okay, hey, good, now he's going the right way. We wanna get all 20 shots in before we begin doing anything again. Okay, let's 
now we can run over one more good so we'll take the moderately injured one let's get that steadiness up ah moved away <laughs> you know if you don't start close enough that is the problem of course that as they move away but we're at nine this should be doable okay we don't appear to be doing anything one damage how are we doing we're almost up to level three marksmanship which is great okay boom we hit level three marks marksmanship and again like i said that helps again with every weapon so we'll just keep shooting a whole bunch i'm not sure if this is going to train up marksmanship anymore does it say it is yeah it does yep marksmanship's up to 3.02 so we're still doing okay oh we need to reload again well how do we do 2.32 on that, and marksmanship is up to 313. Fine by me. So I'll slow to a walk. Reload. Okay, we're now full. Go back to running. And wait. There we go. Lots of grazing hits. Okay, they're out of the way. We can't hit them anymore. Well, we have four shots left, so we'll just uh, start reloading here. I wanna stay out of the range of this guy. Okay, we're fully reloaded now. Here we go again. <laughs> to train, uh, it's, just, it's a kinda, yeah. This is the game. This is essentially grinding. I remember doing this, heavens, a long time ago in a lot of RPG games where you just grind kills. The earliest one I remember doing this for was actually Baldur's Gate. Fantastic game if you've never played it. One of the original RPGs, uh, I mean, it wasn't one of the original RPGs, period, but it was one of the original RPGs that really uh, got people interested in action RPGs. And it was more RPG than action, because it was a turn-based combat, not like Diablo. So I don't even remember what we're doing. We're just shooting this guy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I'll reload so we don't have to get that little dialogue. And I'm willing to go through every single one of my BBs. Now, the, the, the interesting thing about the BBs is we could, if we wanted, actually use the BBs to hunt squirrels and bats and things like that, because I, I did kill those. But you can really use bow and arrow just as effectively to kill those things, um, usually more effectively. And you, I think you can make BBs out of pellets or um, sling shots, the shots for the sling. So and it's not like we need to conserve our BB ammo. How are we doing, by the way? 3.54, rifles up to 2.5. Looking really good. The AR-15 is going to become a really a powerful weapon in our hands if we keep up like this so we will keep up like this okay we're pretty much full there it is okay fire and the further the way they are the more points you get so we're firing at max range here but that's perfect so we get more skill points for attacking at this range wow we already went through 19 of them huh and let's check now, we're 3.75, 2.59, okay, reload, get out of the way. Okay, we're fully reloaded. Ah, this is the way it goes, lots of fun. Okay, we need to reload again. Well, I'm kind of, I'll do this more off camera, but you get the idea. So let's just run away. They'll just continue that merry game until the end of time because the zombies can never penetrate the iBot armor and uh, the iBot will never do anything aggressive against them. And now it's also down one of its right control bots. 
And I'm not sure how the game works with those. I'm not sure if there's a static number generated at game start or if the iBot actually spawns them into existence. It would be really cool if they were um, static at game spawn because <clears throat> that means the more iBots you go up and get riot control bots from, the less that are available for later, uh, for, uh, later iBots. Now it's been 29 minutes. I might as well just put a break in here. Uh, again, for this episode, I was planning on going down to the southwest, just liberating the rest of this part of town so that the town is totally ours. Of course, totally ours, minus the iBot and three zombies, who I will use as target practice um, as the days go on. So hopefully uh, we'll continue to get our BB skill, well, our rifle skill up. Getting it up to 2.67 and almost up to 4. I'm really happy with that. Marksmanship of 4 means we have a decent a decent ability to start with any weapon from there. And what do we have? Submachine guns is at 0, so that would be one thing we would need help with. Launchers, archery. Yeah, but we uh, I'm actually stuck at this point where, oh, that was very low focus. I should have rested in between, but... I might actually get our focus up before we go back down to the southwest. So might might take a small break, maybe three games, three hours in game, just to have high focus when we go back down to the southwest. Because I still want to continue to upgrade our bashing skill. What are we using now? We're using uh, a machete, which is actually cutting, right? Yeah, cutting. So we want to get our cutting up faster, and just in case we dodge it all, we'll keep getting our dodge, dodging up, etc. But anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will liberate the southwest part of town. And then, uh, again, my plan is to go take on this Triffid Grove, which would be a, quite an undertaking. As soon as we clear out the town and I get settled, we load up our weapons, get our duffel bag full of whatever stuff we can find, grenades, Molotovs, anything. And then we'll go over and uh, see what we can get done there. We also have this hive, which I plan... Oh, no, this is a power subset. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I... Oh, yellow. It's a yellow bee, which is uh, um, the bees. I thought this was a bee's nest, but I was mistaken. Otherwise, uh, I'm kind of open to any suggestions other people might have as well. Oh, the bus. I forgot to get the bus. <laughs> well... We don't need it yet. We're still in the process of skilling up, but yeah. And I did, uh, during that five day stint, I mean, we got everything we could read. Everything we could read, it has been read. So you can see everything is now yellow. I read it all. So I hope we find a few more books. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.